Let's see what's going on here today, Bill. Uh, well, our uh, one of our key volunteers has been working with Barry Whitty, who is the nuclear trained electrical engineer from Albany, who's done all the great work on the Slater. He's been guiding us in uh, the restoration and the rebuilding of this original electrical distribution panel. This morning, we're taking this all in really small bites and under his supervision, but this morning, a section, uh, and a, I believe an individual circuit, but Mario could answer better than I can, will be energized, and if we're successful, these three lights, uh, which are part of the ground detection system, these three sh lights should energize. So that'll be uh, the telltale if we're successful. And here's Mario now. And so I think he just plugged in the main line from this panel to the shore power? I believe that's right. the case. Okay. Power short, yeah. So uh, we're, we'll refer to it as uh, as temporary shore tie at this point, or uh, our temporary fuse disconnect, whatever the right uh, technical uh, point would be. But this uh, so it continues to provide the 20 amp circuit protection. It's got fuses in place. Um, right now, if we exceed 20 amps, uh, whatever that might be, uh, it'll help protect the board. The possibility that during all the time we spent behind that board, all the time we spent behind the covers, there could still be something across two of the bars, Lord knows, um, I mean the whole space was flooded. I don't think we're in that situation, um, we've tested several times, the phases are all good, but you put 480 volts and things can become conductive, even if they're not normally conductive. Uh, there could be a twig, there could be a stick. Uh, but uh, I think we are at a point where it's the tests have continued to show satisfactory and uh, the AC bus tie is holding voltage well. Um, after we're done with this today, we should have the only sign of life should be the three uh, ground fault detector lights. Uh, those three should turn on. They're not connected to a transformer of any sort. Um, those run off of uh, basically big valve, big resistors. Uh, that will drop the 480 uh, down to the 120 volts for them. So we should have a nice little seven watts of, of glow coming off those lamps, and uh, and that'll be the only real sign that we have life. But uh, I do have a thermal camera, so we'll uh, check the board afterwards, make sure there's no hot spots, make sure we're not seeing any heating, uh, and then we'll also use it to trace the uh, uh, the AC bus tie itself. Um, to see if there's any signs of hot spots on it, or if we're just having a general diffused uh, heating across the entire cable. Uh, we shouldn't see any hot spots, we shouldn't see any real heating. Um, the kind of the same, same as before, we're going to plug it in without turning it on, so the electricity really shouldn't be going anywhere. Uh, and that's the, uh, that's the hope here. And then with the ground fault lamps working, uh, we'll be able to see if we have a short to the hull. Uh, that would be a huge issue, considering that a hull is already in pretty rough shape. I don't want to uh, speed up the degradation and, and punch holes in the hull with the voltage. So um, that would be a, that'd be a big, big concern and something of, to be to be hunted down quickly. But uh, if all three of them glow and we check the lamp, uh, it should be should be safe to leave the board energized for the day, and we'll, uh, we'll continue to check it as we did with the AC bus tie. So, you know, it ran a week and had no problems, so continue, rinse, slather, repeat the process. So, all right, I'll get out of your way and... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, we're, we're gonna do it from over here, uh, just because of, uh, if, if you don't know what arc flash is, um, look it up on YouTube, because uh, it's, uh, it, so it's bad. It's basically when something begins to weld itself and you don't want it to do that. Uh, or, uh, or is just for purely safety purpose. Um, when we energized the AC bus tie, we were all up, up on deck. Uh, it's snowing and 20 degrees out, so I don't want to go back up there. Um, so we're going to do it down here where we're still in a safe position, but uh, um, we don't have to be out in the weather. So we'll uh, keep ourselves safe and, and smart here. But uh, yeah, well, uh, everybody's got rubber shoes on in the first place, so we should be well insulated. Um, 
not, uh, a, not a concern. The water is more conductive than we are. But. So those lights should energize when you throw the. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll uh, we'll throw the last breaker and uh, we'll, uh, we'll close we'll close both breakers and uh, and then we'll energize the board as one unit. Um, because they are 1940s breakers, minimizing the number of times we open and close them yeah. is just for the general uh, life and extension of the equipment and the board. Uh, they won't really care to stay open or closed, but in this case, we're just not going to operate them any more than we have to, uh, which is why we're doing everything from the uh, from our new uh, fused panel over here. So, uh, so it's connected up on shore, um, and then we'll uh, we, we made, we made that safety change earlier to uh, that we can now test for the uh, current from below the board. Um, that way, now the board is going to be fully energized. We don't want to break the plane. We don't want to reach into the board. You don't know what may or may not be live in there right now. Um, there is a technical term the Navy uses, but basically we don't trust anything on this system until it's proven to be trustworthy. Uh, and, and we're going to continue to treat it like it's kind of waiting to kill us at any moment. <laughs> uh, not that I think she is, but, uh, you know, you only get one round with 450 volts. So, fair enough. Fair enough. So, all right. Um, well, we are good. So this was AC bus tie, still closed, or so this is, sorry, short tie. Um, and then this will be the board itself. Closed, so now we'll energize. Uh, and then the only thing that should come up should be those three lamps right there. I want to look from over here, Shane, and get a straight shot on those lights. Yeah, I'll walk over there. I, uh, he's, I do not have rubber sole shoes on, so. <laughs> Stand up on the mat. Well, Where? The way, well, the way he was talking about with the arcs, I actually wouldn't probably stand him in front of the board. Yeah, that's. I would, I would actually. I, come I over don't here. expect anything, but uh, just safety wise, you're, you're good over here. Jane, you're solid up there. Um, like I said, the water in the hull is far more conductive than we are, but uh, they yeah. will seek the water out first. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So she's your boat. Go for it. Power on. We got a light. There you go. How about that, man? Do that. That's awesome. Ooh. So, well, a lot of Mario. We'll continue to uh, treat it safely as such um, until she proves herself worthy, worthy of, uh, of being powered. But uh, right now, she's on. So, there we go. So, this is on in near full power? Uh, so this is running full 450 to the board, right? Because last time and the other time that we tied it to the shore, that was much lower voltage. Much yes. lower voltage. Yeah, that was uh, very much uh, initial testing, and now we're at full 450 coming off the pier. Uh, the fuses haven't popped, which means we haven't exceeded 20 amps, um, which means realistically the board is carrying power, um, and we're not seeing any sort of damage or signs of, of anything beyond that. Um, unfortunately, all the meters uh, were damaged in the flooding event. Um, we have the faceplates for them, but uh, the meters themselves are pretty much uh, cooked, unfortunately, due to oil and, and salt and water corrosion that is occurred in them. They're very precise equipment, um, but uh, those will be a few of those would be nice to get replaced just for uh, for safety's sake. But you know, we're not uh, we're not planning on having tours down here anytime soon. But, uh, is uh, for the for the near future. So now with this on, what does that do with the forward board now? Uh, nothing. Being, being that you get me you said you had that open. Has not changed anything as far as the forward board is concerned. Um, we're same condition, same situation we were in. Uh, that will be hopefully the next step is a cleaning evolution like we did in the in the fall here. We'll get uh, hopefully get some volunteers in and we'll kind of do the same groom that we did on the forward board or the on on the forward board that we did here on the aft board, pull all the circuit breakers off, get in there, elbow deep, clean it up, um, clean all the breakers, and then the forward board will have to go through the same process of learning to trust it as well. Um, and that's going to be more weeks of work, but I mean, uh, I know there were at least a few people who said it couldn't happen, but this lights are on. So, all right, here we go, next step. We're, uh, we're probably a few weeks off of testing the transformers for the lighting system, but um, yeah, we're uh, stepping in the right direction. Uh, it's technically speaking 
she's alive. I mean, this would be the first step into uh, reestablishing power on board the boat. Good, good. So, there we go. So we leave this on. We just continue to monitor. Yep. Monitor, do the uh, thermal checks. Yep. We'll run the we'll run the, uh, the thermal camera here in a few minutes once uh, things have kind of warmed up. Um, I mean, obviously it's what about 35, maybe barely 40 in the space. So uh, if there is heating, it'll show up really well. Um, it'll start to pick up temperature quickly. Um, and then we'll check that. We'll see if we can actually trace the AC bus line. Um, it may or may not warm up. We'll see if it will. Um, if it doesn't, that's cool. There's no, no harm, no foul there, because that means it's uh, not using that uh, extra electricity for heat, which is, is for the better. Um, and then, uh, yeah, this will be, uh, be the expectation for the next couple days over the week here. Um, we'll be continuing to We'll leave the breakers as they are. We will minimize using those, and then we'll just continually energize from the uh, from the fuse box. Um, but we got power. That's awesome. 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 Thumbs up, Mario, yeah. and thank you to Barry Witty and Gary from the Slater, uh, working with Mario remotely to uh, address this original panel yeah. from 1943. And there's the light. Anything else, guys, before we wrap up? No, that's all we got. Okay. Till the next one. Signing off. Thank you so much. Mario, Bill, Andrew. And we'll see you guys again soon.